Hello everyone and welcome to the finals of the NNL Pro Tournament. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese. Will, we've had a lot of fun doing this Pro Tournament, but this is going to be our final matchup. A lot of fun indeed. It's kind of bittersweet because it was a fun tournament, but all good things must come to an end. And this tournament is no exception. We've already crowned a male champion, but now we need a female champion between two women with extraordinarily similar names. <laughs> Certainly. Addie Herman and Abby Clark. I know for you that's a bit of a nightmare, but we have some incredibly strong athletes so, Will, neither of these ladies have been a world champion, but we have a two-time World Strongest Ninja versus the leader in the power rankings wire to wire since the creation of the Elite Division. It's certainly two very impressive resumes out of these ladies. I mean, honestly, all you got to do is just watch their performances on various NNL qualifiers and other ninja competitions around the country. They know what they're doing i think that's the easiest way to put it they know how to handle ninja courses they know what they have to do in order to win and generally speaking even though they haven't won the nnl world championship yet they deliver and i think that these two are very evenly matched and it's going to be a very strong final between two very talented women and they've certainly shown it in their grip gauntlets they've had I mean, they've definitely used their full two minutes both times. They've shown some incredibly strong moves. I cannot wait to see what they're going to do in their final gauntlet, the last chance to impress our voters. Yeah. All I can say at this point is that I hope that they took the time to really think of something that can impress the audience, both in terms of technical skill and, uh, you know, that ever-elusive wow factor. Certainly, Will. Well, as a reminder, they've both submitted two-minute grip gauntlets. It's up to you to decide who had the better one, and let's get right into it with Addie Herman. Hi, guys. Addie here, and here's the final round of the Pro Tournament. Addie's going to start off with a salmon ladder, and you can notice there's no back to that, so she has to land all of those rungs with precision. And it's very interesting looking. As the bar just falls out as she was transferring. Oh, to the hi, wheel. Monstro Swing! Nice seeing hey. you again. We missed wow. out on it at Worlds this year. I didn't miss you. Going to be honest. But, <laughs> ooh. Nice spin hopper there, going to a cliffhanger instead of the rest of the spin hopper. I gotta say, this setup has a nice variety of grips. Who knows what we're going to see today? Yeah, the Herman's Backyard Gauntlet is very famous for mainly its size. Let's be real. <laughs> And we're on to Slingshot. Now, those bungees wow. are very unforgiving. They yeah. have quite a bit of give. This one, a little less give. Mm -hmm. As she is on to a more traditional Salmon Ladder, I believe. That looks like she's just using it as a transfer to something else, though. Certainly our most scenic uh, gauntlet yet. <laughs> oh, what a nice view. We got some pegs. Yes. Uh, hanging. Nice now stronghold uh, floating peg board there over a minute i'm not sure what to call that we are yeah. on to maybe skyhooks ring toss what are we looking at ah We're just just, just a moving. variety of grips yep Good, a minute 20. you want variety addy's got all the grips right now all the grips yes every single one that exists Good. including yes. this claw yep you name a grip they have it probably as she has 30. about 30 Good. seconds left and I want to see something big here. Now, I haven't seen this gauntlet, so I don't know what she's going to do, but Maybe she 45. definitely has the variety. Got I want to see something big. Grab it on top well, if you have to. She's hanging from a giant donut, trying to reach Grab the it on banana. Grab if you have to, on top of that thing. Okay. Uh, no. She's, yep. she's got a sliding bar. Oh. She's going backwards. Oh, no, she oh. lost her grip. Okay. Will, we finally got to see the legendary Herman Lakeside course. And Addy certainly made the most of it. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with that. It It's a big course. I, I'm very impressed by just the size of it. You know, it looked like some sort of shrine to, to <laughs> ninja, so to speak. But uh, I would have to say that I, I, I'm just going to cut straight to it. Uh, I would like to know what the plan was for that uh, finale 
was that supposed to be a dismount that didn't quite work out or was she going to try to jump to something a, a backwards big dipper is a, a bold start to begin with but it didn't look like she was fully prepared for what she was doing well you have to consider she was also hanging for two minutes so i'm assuming her you know lactic acid just gave out on her she was kind of slowing down near the end, just some basic holds. Moving upwards, though, which is more difficult than just moving in a straight line. The rest of the gauntlet was very impressive. I loved that salmon ladder at the beginning, required a lot of precision. And, I mean, there were a lot of very good holds. Certainly, you know, we've complained about some athletes not using enough variety. She had pretty much everything under the sun in that gauntlet. You know what? Sometimes when you're given a plethora of options, uh, the the spoils go to the riches, or however that phrase is told. I don't know. <laughs> it's also plethora, but eh, not not like whatever. you're paid to talk for a living. Anyway, let's send it over to Abby Clark to see if she can top that excellent gauntlet. Abby Clark, the higher seed, looking to hold serve. She has shown incredible grip strength throughout her gauntlet, starting off here with some doorknobs. And into a uh, both up and down, not even waiting to give us a proper intro, just getting right into the action, up a devil step setup now. Very narrow devil steps. Yeah, and you know what? She's making a good pace too. She's not, she's not faffing about on the uh, obstacle, hopefully trying to get as much as possible through everything. Pull up there yeah. off of the banana onto a pegboard. Yes, a pegboard. Both grip gauntlets have had the same banana grip. Come on out. And they've both incorporated pegs, which I like. That's true. You know, a Abby's was more uh, 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 what, moving, but this is uh, bigger and more staticky. Yeah, I would have liked to see Wait some bigger moves there because she's used up quite a bit of her time about halfway through now onto the ice cream sandwich. And this is a difficult grab, Ooh, like a special delivery mixed with a cliffhanger. Wow, talk about precision right there. And now has to reverse her body. She's going side to side. Looks like to an actual special delivery. Good. Which one is she going to go to, though? I guess this one. Uh, yes. Oh, going to the sides. Ah. That's all right. Looks like we have still, an audience for Abby. Still cool. Yep. Listen to that roar of the crowd. <laughs> all right. Well, we are in the waning seconds. I see a sky hook up ahead. I think that's where she's going. 145. Or no, on. she's changing her body. I think she's going for that shelf. Yeah, she indeed. does. Come on. And she's going to finish off with the shelves. I lied. She's going for the bar. Yeah, keep going. You got about two minutes right now. What are we going to see? Time's running out. <laughs> ah, just gave out. <laughs> Abby Clark once again proving that she is incredibly strong. But if I have to make a criticism, the variety and the difficulty factor that she had in her first two gauntlets, I think might have tapered off a little bit. You know what? Sometimes making a third grip gauntlet is tough when you're asked to come up with something that's different again for the third time and it looked like she was in the same gym all three times so yes. sometimes you have to you know it's like you're told make three different things with the same objects it's like well you know you get two good ideas and then for the third time it's like eh, well you know i mean what she did was still very impressive oh, and absolutely. she did it all yeah she did it all pretty well but you know I, I, there were definitely moments of her first two rounds that I feel like were bigger than any individual moment in this particular gauntlet. But a very strong showing from Abby. Of course. Uh, I've referred to Abby in the past as a cheat code, and I think she delivered on that again with the amount of difficulty that she had. Um, obviously, the most technically impressive move was the ice cream sandwich. Uh, pulling back the curtain a little bit, we'd actually considered it for the World Championship and decided against it because it would have been too difficult. Abby nailed it, uh, going straight from a pegboard, so she had been hanging for quite some time, right into that ice cream sandwich. I cannot emphasize how difficult that move was, and that may very well have been the most difficult move we saw out of either gauntlet. 
I, I will say that I completely agree that that ice cream uh, sandwich transfer was very impressive. It, it's such a hard precision to make. Um, I would... I would have just been over the moon if she had transferred to the middle slot of the special delivery, but maybe that's just me, me being greedy, you know? <laughs> uh, as you put, as you put it in the last gauntlet, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face, right? Maybe that was her yeah. plan. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? At the end of the day, it's easy for me to sit here and be like, yeah. do all these cool <laughs> stuff. I'm not the one doing it. <laughs> well, what's your dead hang looking like? Um, I mean... I mean, like, maybe five seconds? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm in about a minute and a half, so I'm not I'm not that much better. Well, certainly our experts have a little bit more ninja experience than we do. Let's see what their opinion was on this incredibly tense final matchup. All right, gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us to discuss the grand final of the Women's Pro Tournament, Addie Herman versus Abby Clark. For the sake of clarity, let's call them Herman and Clark, not by their first names. So, uh, Lucio, let's start with you. What do you think of Herman's backstage course, a different uh, location compared to her first two runs? Well, honestly, Will, that that course is is impressive. You, That's almost a gym, let's be honest. That's not even a backyard course. She has a pipe coaster in her backyard course. Come on. Like, impressive just to begin with with that course. Um, everything all around, like, great great use of grips, um, great technique, change of direction. So many awesome things that were showcased there from her run. And, uh, and Henry, do you think that um, Herman used a good uh, variety of obstacles in her backyard course? My God, yeah. And, and totally to hop on that uh, bandwagon of what Lucio just said is, uh, probably the best outdoor, outdoor course I've ever seen. Um, I, the, the um, variety of obstacles was incredibly impressive. Um, I was just like, the start, you're on a salmon ladder shelf, which I actually had never seen before. And it's like so many obstacles, like as soon as she's done with it, the bar like falls off. So like, you know, the difficulty is high. Like she like goes to the next obstacle and the bar like flies off. And then like, there's a slingshot. Like she, her outdoor course has a slingshot. Like, very impressed with the variety of obstacles on in her outdoor course. Like, very impressed with her run overall. All right. Now, moving on to uh, a bit of a polar opposite uh, with, uh, with Clark's uh, run. She's been in the same place all three times. And sometimes coming up with three different gauntlets can be difficult. Henry, do you think she did a good job differentiating herself from the first two runs that she did? To be ter per perfectly honest, and um, I think Abby's an amazing athlete, I was not super impressed with her run. I will say she had the, the most hang time out of, out of anyone. Um, she went, she was the only athlete to go for like past two minutes, which was really impressive. Um, when I saw that change of direction move um, into the, into the um, shelf catch, like the sandwich catch, which was really impressive. I was like, is she going for that sandwich? She went for the sandwich. And then a full change of direction, like literally had to had to kill her swing and start going left and right and building swing left and right. And I'm like, Abby, you're going to do this right now. You're going special delivery. You're going into that slot. You're going coordination move. And then it was like, oh, wow, you're going to catch the sides. Little disappointed with that. So, um, yeah, uh, to be honest, I think Abby can do better than that. But but I was still impressed. Like she's still an amazing, amazing, amazing athlete. Uh, speaking of impressive, Lucio, um, Henry alluded to the, the little sandwich catch that uh, Clark did in the middle of her run. Would you say that was the most impressive individual move of this round? I don't think the catch was as impressive as the change of direction. The, the change of direction was honestly more difficult and required a lot more coordination just like from core strength and just um, wrist strength overall. But um, the catch itself, I mean, although difficult, wasn't as impressive as the change of direction. Um, as Henry alluded to, Abby's an insanely strong athlete, um, and it's no discredit to her. It just wasn't as, like, the wow factor for me wasn't there, which normally for her it is. She's really big into, like, big moves and linking. Um, it seemed like she maybe was just a little bit pumped out from a lot of the change of direction or movement. 
So there wasn't as much packed in. So we got to see just a few movements um, with not a lot of spice as I would usually see from her. I, I get a sense of where you're both heading, but let's just make this official. So Addy Herman and Abby Clark, Lucille, we'll start with you. Who is your pick for the championship? So although I, I think maybe I might be playing dark horse here, um, I'm going to go with Abby Clark. Um, I really feel like although she didn't give us that like huge wow factor, um, she still was up there for a long time. And she did do some pretty tough things, a lot of coordination movements. Um, and, and that does take, that's a lot of difficulty. So a little bit lower on the wow factor, but her, you know, her difficulty level was up there. So I'm going to go with Abby for this one. Wow. All right. And Henry, same question to you, sir. So I, I, I am going to disagree, but, but again, I'm, I'm impressed with Abby that she went for the, for the full two minutes. Um, Addie's hang time was really close. I'm in a 53, but, um, Addie Herman hands down, in my opinion, had the better grip gauntlet. Um, she has the greatest outdoor course, um, I've ever seen. Um, very, very impressed. Um, her, her cane work, the coordination moves, the variety of obstacles in that, in that run. So impressive. From the opener, the salmon ladder shelves, um, to the to the um, just, just a lot of the movements that Addie does is just always so impressive to me, and um, yeah, into the, like, into that slingshot, like she has an outdoor slingshot, like that's so cool. Um, I give it to I give it to one hundred percent Addie Herman. All right, gentlemen, once again, it's been a pleasure like it's been this entire tournament. Thank you so much for your input. And, well, I love you guys. Love you too. Love you too. So there you have it, everyone. Our two judges cannot differentiate between Abby and Addie. See, it's not just me. (laughs) And they are split between who they think should become the first female NNL Grip Gauntlet champion. But at the end of the day, what's important is what, how you feel should be the champion. So please, we ask you, go in the description down below, click the link, vote in the poll, and using who you thought had the better gauntlet, choose our champion, please. Yeah, don't pick your favorite ninja, everybody. Pick who had the better grip gauntlet. And I know if our experts had a tough time deciding... I'm sure you all will at home, but you only have 72 hours to make your decision. At the end of that 72 hours, whoever has the most votes will be our first ever NNL Pro Tournament champion for the ladies. And just to close things out, Will, I have had so much fun doing all of these matches with you. Maybe we'll do it again someday, but in the meantime, we have lots more content coming up on our NNL YouTube page. And don't forget, everybody... Gauntlet Pro Obstacle Challenge, as you can see on Will's shirt, is coming very soon. We're going to have a great Season 7, and we cannot wait for you all to see what we have in store at the NNL. But for now, he's William Marchese, I'm Alex Cunningham, and thank you so much for joining us on this amazing ride of the NNL Pro Tournament. Much love.